Hello there Libras, welcome to your weekly tarot reading. Um, so what I'm getting in your love sector is um, there is a person, there's a definitively one person in your life that um, I feel like, you know, it's a, like a missed encounter, like a missed opportunity, a missed encounter or something like that. And um, the person, the way that they show up is, you know, they're very inspiring. They're very independent, and um, they're also, they, they've got a lot of, uh, they're, they're making magic happen. They're making things happen in their lives. Um, they initiate things. They start things. They get things finished. So you have somebody in your world that you really, really, really admire. And I also feel like they do things with such grace and such ease that you look at them and you're just like, wow, they've got like, you know, that magic touch. Everything they touch turned to gold. Why can't I be the way that they, they are? Or why can't I, you know, get things moving in my life, okay? And keep in mind the energy can be reversed where they see you as the person that makes things happen. Whereas they're struggling to keep afloat or they're struggling to get things rolling in the same manner that you have and so I feel like you know you're with a relationship partner that is um, kinda like the envy of the town you know people really see you as a power couple and then people really um, they, they, they see you as a power couple with another person and they really envy that connection and so there's an element here of envy and possessiveness as well if you're not coupled up with this person, there's somebody here that you really are attracted to. And um, there's an element of the, the they're, they're so much independent and they're so different from you that I feel, you know, the, the, the attraction is a little bit kind of like an opposites attract energy. It can create a lot of sexual attraction, but it can also create a lot of conflict mainly because you know they're so different from you you're naturally drawn to them but the conflict happens and then I always feel like you know somebody comes into the picture to either apologize or to either make amends so you're dealing with someone who's very very high-minded okay and then for others I feel like you're dealing with somebody who really likes you they really look up to you and there's a sense of jealousy and possessiveness when you're talking to other people, when you're flirting, when you're around, you know, um, members, like when you're surrounded by people, they, they really don't want to lose you. Um, and I also feel as well, the third story is many of you have been in a relationship where someone was very possessive of you. Someone was like holding on to you for dear life and they have control issues and you are freeing yourself from that. It was like a healthy, codependent, toxic relationship. And you have freed yourself from that. So what's coming in first here? We do have the star. This is healing. This is finding inspiration again. This is kind of like finding somebody that is our muse. You know, they, they spark us off sexually and we are really attracted to them and we find them really um, like unearthly, you know, somebody who's, who comes from the stars, someone who's really high-minded, who's very magical and, and just quite beautiful, okay? So the person that you're dealing with, we have here the Four of Pentacles, and the Four of Pentacles is like struggling financially, someone who's a little bit closed off. They're not able to reveal their emotions to you, but we are escalating from the Four of Pentacles to the eight of pentacles so it could be somebody in the work environment where they're not able to tell you and express to you how they feel about you even though they really admire you even though they really care about you but the constraints of the work environment is disallowing the union to happen but I feel like there's gonna be some major breakthrough for you this there's like, like major, major transformation. We're going from the Four of Pentacles where somebody's really, really closed off like this to the Eight of Pentacles where they're putting in the effort. They're freeing up their resources. They're freeing up their time. And they're able to come to you in a very beautiful union. So if there has been missed opportunities in the past, I feel like it's transforming. 
this is the death card, which indicates major transformation, major endings that have um, you know come into the picture to allow something new to come to fruition. And so if you've left a bad toxic relationship, you're with somebody now who's very generous, who's very generous with their love, their affection, and their time. And they're not controlling or possessive. They let you be the person that you be, you want to be. They deal with the tantrums and the drama, and they they know as well that you know that they want to be with you, and they know that you will come back to them. So I, I feel like the the end to jealous lovers, jealous relationships, or even like you know toxic codependent relationships, that's coming into the picture, and you start to realize as well. You've done a lot of healing on yourself, and you start to realize that that's not love; it's control. Okay. Um, there is. This is the the apology type of a card okay we have here the page of uh, cups and the page of cups is like you know really good healthy heartfelt communication as well as an apology coming from somebody in your life it could be from that past partner who is sorry for being so controlling it could also be the past um misconnection that never got off the ground and this is the week where you know there's going to be some heartfelt communication so that you can so that you that someone is letting known their intentions and I feel like it's very work related so it's like flirtation on the work front or even like communication happening where it's really really sweet beautiful communication and they want they have a message that they want to share with you and I feel like the message has to do a lot more with like um, where they're at in life that they're trying to make amends for things that they're willing to put more work in that they're single and available even or even you know like hey we missed each other last time can we reconnect at a later date or can we reconnect soon so I feel like you have nothing to fear. Your wishes are definitely coming true for this week where somebody's going to reach out and they're going to tell you. They're going to show you their intentions and they're going to show you. They're going to be a lot more consistent, okay? The four is holding on tightly, trying to control, whereas the eight is like working very, very diligently and um, being consistent with our effort putting in the work, doing the necessary work, getting our hands dirty in order to make things move along. And so I feel like it's going to be a very beautiful week where you're getting some offers, where you are potentially as well transforming the way you view relationships. And I feel for some of you, um, if there has been jealousy with partners, that is alleviating because I, I see an apology coming through. And then I also feel like you're dealing with someone who's very high-minded. They make things happen, so they don't hold any grudges, okay? In other areas of your life, you have two aces. So this is probably one of the best, um, the, the second part, anyways, the, one of the best readings. The Ace of Pentacles denotes to me a new job, a new source of income, a new income-generating idea. And I feel like it's linked up here with the Ace of Swords, which basically means news communication coming through regarding work, okay? There might be new work projects being uh, added to the scene. There might also be new people entering the work situation. So if you are in some type of a supervisory uh, managerial position where you are overseeing the work that other people are doing where you're not getting your hands dirty but other people you are doing the work for you there might be new people coming into the picture that you might need to oversee there might also be just a lot of ideas a lot of um, communication a lot of clients for those of you who are self-employed the nine of pentacles usually indicates to me self-employment if that is the case you have a lot of major portfolios and major clients coming into the picture you also have some ideas if you've been birthing some ideas if you've been keeping everything really really close to your chest waiting for the day where you can bring your idea forth into the world you're gonna get a lot of positive reception you're going to get a lot of financial backers and you're gonna be called upon to come to some type of a speaking engagement 
where you're kind of like in the public eye and you're advocating and communicating about these ideas to shareholders, to investors, to people like financiers, and they're going to, um, you know, back your ideas. So I see a lot of positive careers, things happening here. Um, so the, the advice here is, you know, keep all the information very close to your chest and wait for that big day of reckoning. Wait for that big day where you can share. It, it's like an idea that is um, before its time. So the timing is not just yet, but I feel like there's some major breakthroughs that will allow you to kind of like share these ideas. I, I, I think of it as like an early movie premiere, you know? There's an exclusive group of people that um, they pick to screen the, the, the movie before they release it to the public. And then they ask for feedback from these exclusive uh, people. And then the they can take the feedback and they can like um, make some changes to the movie if necessary before they release it to the greater public. So I feel like there's something exclusive, some contracts being signed, some information that you're privy to because you belong to an exclusive group or you're in contact with the right people at the right time or in the right place at the right time. And then you get snippets of these ideas that you're going to run with, okay? So the energy is just really, really positive. And I feel like it's a it's a week where dreams are really going to come true. So if you've had some doubts, if you've had financial difficulties, if you're at a job where, you know, you're um, you're staying at it because it allows you to kind of like work it work on your side gig. I feel like this is the week where you are thinking about reversing, which is, you know, maybe quitting your main job so that you can focus exclusively on your side business and making that like your main job or your main goal or your main source of income. So I definitely feel financial difficulties alleviating. I see you getting a lot of positive reception and accolades in your work environment, getting thanks, getting recognition and being able to, you know, have a lot of um, more opportunities opening up as a result of being in the spotlight and working through ideas and sharing your ideas with the greater public so that it gives you a lot of visibility and credibility. So it's a very, very lovely reading and I'm really happy to see this for you guys in your birthday time. So I feel like, you know, the, the ball is definitely rolling along. It's like getting the ball rolling along. Um, you might have felt like you were the cog in the machine, you know, just going through the day-to-day -day grind of work. But this is the week where things start to pay off, where you feel like you stand out, where you feel like, yes, I'm irreplaceable. I'm not just a cog in the machine. I have skills that I'm bringing to the table and I'm irreplaceable. Okay, so um, for those of you who have been, you know, struggling finding work, this is a breakthrough type of a week, and I'm really happy to see this for you. So take care of yourself, okay, Li um, Libras. I know the, the reading is a lot shorter than the other signs, but I feel like, you know, it's, it's very concise. So short and sweet is what I would like for you guys, and I wish you all the best, okay? Take care.